idol derives from the Latin word idolum, meaning an image such as a reflection in the water, a statue, or a vision. This Latin word in turn derives from the older Greek word eidos, which means form or shape. But in English, its usage was quickly restricted to refer to an image of a false god. Idolatry, then, is the sin of worshipping that false god. In this line, when Juliet ironically refers to Romeo as the god of her idolatry, it's the first instance of anyone using idol or idolatry in a positive sense. In English today, idolatry still means worship of a false god, but we continue to use the word idol like Juliet does here. When we refer to our favorite writer or actor or singer, for example, we might call him or her our idol. <laughs> 